castle wardrobes for quite some time now. Moreover, I've seen this method successfully used by Wonder Wardrobe students for years. That's why today I would like to show you what a capsule wardrobe is and how to create one. To put it simply, a capsule wardrobe is a collection of outfits that go together in a style, color and purpose. For example, you can have a vacation capsule wardrobe for a few weeks, just as easy as you can have an office capsule wardrobe for a season. A Wonder Wardrobe capsule is the more advanced version of a regular capsule wardrobe because it is created with complete versatility in mind. It also lets you fully express your personal style and have different looking outfits for different occasions. And all these little things lead to increased wearability, reduced choice fatigue and controlling shopping impulses. So, how do you start? The classic capsule wardrobe usually is limited by the number of items you can include. Some say 33 items is enough, others give you a specific list of items to buy. In my opinion, how many items you have in your wardrobe is irrelevant. You shouldn't look at your wardrobe as a collection of random separate items, but as a cohesive collection of outfits. I have students that have 80 outfit capsules and students that have 10 outfit capsules. In both cases, the results are beautiful, but most importantly, they help these women to have a ready-to-wear wardrobe that fits their unique lifestyle. They've all started the same way. And here is how you can do it. Put down on paper all the events you need to get dressed for in the next 3-4 months. Here are my activities and how many outfits I need for the next 3 months. I need 45 outfits for video, client meetings, team meetings, 45 outfits for computer work or home leisure time, 30 outfits for my free time and hobbies, 45 outfits for yoga and gym, and 15 outfits for vacation, going to the beach in summer. Now I will divide them all by the number of times I can wear the same outfit during these 3 months. So if I need to dress up 45 times in the next 3 months, I'm okay to wear the same outfit 3 times. This means I only need 15 outfits for the first activity and approximately 40 outfits in total. In the end, you should have a clear view of how many outfits you need for a season or for the entire year. Of course, you can add more outfits if you want, but at least now you know when to stop shopping. You are the main focus of your capsule wardrobe and the resulting style should reflect this. If you just try to copy a trend or a few looks you saw on Instagram, you will quickly discover that it will not work for you long term. And moreover, you will spend a lot of money on clothes that might look great on other people, but not you. And this will lead to another pile of unworn clothes and stressful situations from not knowing what to wear. You have to start by asking what your personal style is. Save images of some outfits that you can see yourself wearing, colors and patterns that attract you, everything that inspires you from a visual perspective. Create a mood board. This will help you steer away from unnecessary purchases and focus on what you like to wear. Teaching and learning personal style takes time and a lot of visual practice. I've created a special class called the Style Harmony class that will help you define and evolve your personal style. We are all attracted to colors for different reasons. But just because we like green, for example, it doesn't mean it will make us look good. Besides, if you keep Picking colors randomly, you will not get your wardrobe fully interchangeable and that will limit your outfit possibilities. 
Of course, you can go for a basic palette, but it suits only a very small percentage of women and it might limit your self-expression. There are four color types you can belong to – spring, summer, autumn and winter. Each color type can wear a wide range of colors that will increase their natural beauty. Correctly identifying your color typology depends on the color of your hair, eyes, eyebrows and skin undertones. The contrast between these features will also factor in when determining your color type. If you want to do this assessment quickly and safely, I would suggest taking the Color Harmony class. I will be there to make sure you get yours right. I've recently launched the Wonder Wardrobe Color Bundle, which consists of the Color Harmony class and the color palette of your choice. Each color palette consists of 40 colors. It's a tool that will help you create great color matching outfits quicker. In essence, by having a cohesive color palette, you will wear more of the clothes you have and it will become much easier to understand what new clothes to buy so they fit with the rest of your wardrobe. The items that you should definitely keep are those that you wear the most. You might really, really, really like that fuchsia blouse, but it makes you feel anxious every time you wear it. And so that's why it never leaves your house. It's time to let it go together with all the other clothes in this category. Another category of clothes that you should consider letting go are the so-called promise clothes. I promise I will wear it when it fits. We all tend to keep garments to remind ourselves that we have to gain or lose weight to fulfill unattainable standards that someone far away invented to sell you more clothes. Gifts and impulse purchases that you barely touched should also be freed. You can, for example, just sell them so that someone else can enjoy them. My main advice would be to start slow. I have yet to meet a woman that started with the perfect capsule, myself included. We all have clothes that we should have bought or we don't wear enough and so on. But what's done is done. You can't change it. But what you can change is the future. And what will help you greatly is to start slow. If you don't know where to start or you don't want to do it alone, the Wonder Wardrobe course and its huge community of like-minded women are there to point the way. Taking it slow means starting with what you have and slowly adding one or two items per month that increase the wearability of what you already have. The more your tops match your bottoms, the less clothes you will need. And every new carefully planned addition will just increase this number of outfits. Your capsule wardrobe can be as personal as you want. Some women love self-expression while others don't. Both of them are right in their choices when it comes to building their capsule wardrobe. Variety and keeping boredom at bay can be easily achieved by understanding your stylistic needs, lifestyle needs, and then meeting them or exceeding them. If you notice that a seasonal wardrobe does not have enough outfits and you're kind of getting bored, you can always supplement that. But it's very important to store it out of sight once the season is done. Repeated surprises are a very good reason to have a capsule wardrobe. And you can only have them once you don't see your seasonal capsules for a while. Seems doable, right? I hope this video will help you at least start your first capsule wardrobe. And as always, I will keep sharing my useful tips here and on my blog to help you on the path towards a true wonder wardrobe. Let me know in the comments what is your experience with creating a capsule wardrobe. 
share with us so we can all learn from each other. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful and if you did, please don't forget to share it with your friends, press like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.